Hello, how y'all doing? Facebook, YouTube. Oh, Friday the 13th. Oh! Friday the 13th. Anybody know what 13 mean? <laughs> oh, you been checking out? Look up, you know, what 13 mean on my YouTube. You know, Mac Johnson Reality. Check it out what 13, the number 13 really means. No, it's not Jason and his, you know, uh, chainsaw. Nah, it means something else. Some more deeper than that. You know what I'm saying? But it's Friday the 13th. Got some, know some history Friday the 13th. But anyway, on with the message. All right. Now, this message is talking about the reality of love inside and lust outside. Love inside, lust outside. Yeah, I've been always talking about that love and lust. I don't think people dig that message, but gotta preach the truth. Well, here's the thing about, you know, what we need to understand these dynamics, you know? The, see, the thing is, what we gotta realize that, you know, when God blew breath in us and man became a living soul, the, when the breath came inside us, he had to blow, why, why he had to blow not from the outside, he blew from the inside, you know? Like, you know, y'all know about CPR. In order for CPR to work, it has to be blown from the inside, you know? Not the outside. And that's what the reality of light is supposed to be about the inside, you know? not the outside, you know? But what we don't realize who we are concerning our well-being is because of what's inside of us, you know? And the three important things that Jesus tell us to do, and of course God told the, you know, children of Israel to do in Deuteronomy, and Jesus tell us in Matthew and Mark, is to love the Lord thy God with the first important organism when it comes to spiritual, you know, establishment is the heart, soul, and mind. Two organs that are in the inside of us. Yes, inside of us. Now, God showed me a little revelation, you know, that I think is pretty cool that I teach on the concerning the kingdom of God, concerning the two gates, you know. The most important two gates in our body is our eye, first is our ears, then it's our eyes. Yeah, first is our ears, then our eyes, and it goes the outward, you know, important things that we meet, need to be concerned about, you know. Our, uh, you bless mine. Our ears and our eyes. And then it's our inside important parts is our heart, soul, mind. Now I'm gonna teach you about the soul is right here. Everybody talking about the soul is in your stomach. No. No, it's not our soul, our stomach. It's our soul is in is where our um energy, spiritual energy generates from our stomach to our soul that's another teaching but anyway the inside of us is the most valuable things these are the two these valuable um organs i pre present to you are the most important organs spiritually concerning our body and spiritually of who we become in life because of how we treat these organs and what happens is well, we understand that these, when these organs are treated correctly and people, you know, utilize it according to, you know, the word of God, our creator, they are, they can use, you know, very affectionately, you know what I'm saying? That we can perform to what our purpose is because our purpose is, is to love, you know? 
we're created to love one another. You know, as you know, Jesus says, you know, the, all, the commandment I give you is to love one another. You know, he thinks three simple words, you know, three simple words. It's just bam, oh, just three simple words, love one another. But what if this world, you know, is so concerned about the outward appearance? Oh, there goes that out. Uh, it's concerned about the outward appearance. It's concerning about looks, you know, looking good, eyes looking, everything, the body looking all right, you know, that outward appearance that people love to praise and people love to, you know, you know, uh, worship. Mm, yeah. I'm going to show you that idea too. Uh, they love to, you know, praise, you know. They say, you know, like people don't understand, like, you know, man, you know, say about a woman, she looks good, she looks fine, she looks sexy, she looks this. That is praise. And watch this. And they praise you so they can offer worship you their number or offer you a something to get something in exchange mm. y'all know what that is and same goes to the ladies you know what i'm saying they praise the men too and praise them and they offer something to them for something in exchange but is this exchange is about love or is about lust see the thing is you know the heart is what's you know the most important that plays the predominant role of if if lust or love is going to reign really they're you know fighting for territory within your heart but the problem is you know they lust and love cannot determine the territory as much as what we desire either or will determine who gets more of the territory concerning you know it's going to if we're going to live our life live our life watch this based upon what's inside or based upon what's outside and that's the struggle that you know everybody's fighting for now you know the world is all about the outside everything that you know cars you know clothes everything that we buy is based upon the outward appearance you know that we you know magnify more that is important to us to want to obtain want to obtain it you know want to have it and we just get so wrapped up in it and using our senses our eyes and our ears to you know behold and recognize things and and unfortunately carnally we we excessive or or assume that it's going to be profitable for us for uh, for a long time but really you know of course this world is temporal everything will pass away the body will get old uh, things will get old in the earth everything will get old you know everything will perish that is concerning this earth that we do not consider to measure in our desires we just because right now it looks wonderful i want it you know but it's like the inside you know uh, uh it's forget about that you know the thing is I, I find out that people that operate in lust they're willing to tolerate somebody that looks good from the outside you know and then all kind of negative from the inside you know what I'm saying they really you know I, it's so funny when I see you know you can tell those couples you know that you know are so much wrapped up in the outside of, <clears throat> of the person and it's like they got an attitude girl got an attitude guy got an attitude you know what I'm saying you can talk to her any kind of way she talked to him any kind of way they get mad they get frustrated they start fighting you know what I'm saying about arguing over something stupid but yet they they together, you know what I'm saying. But that may that will make you think that that should make you think that this relationship is based upon lust. You know what I'm saying. That's the foundation of it. You know. But you can see, you know, people, you know, they're not all that attractive. But you know, 
all right looking, you know, that, you know, get along and have fun and enjoy their, you know, relationship. You can, you can tell about their vibe, you know, and how they're just talking. You, they have a true intimate, you know, relationship concerning their heart, the soul and mind. This person knows what she knows and he, she knows what he knows. And they, you know, find interest in one another concerning how what they know and what they like doing, what they understand doing and enjoy themselves and have fun and have a great time laughing about, you know, a lot of things about each other. The difference, the differences, they respect the differences of each other and they, you know, just find a way to get along with each other, you know, and they develop a common goal that will help, you know, help them love each other concerning whatever they do in life. And they're busy encouraging one another to say, hey, you know, you can make it whatever career or whatever thing you're doing, you know, they encourage each other. And, and, and they feel, and it feels good inside. You know, outside, they can, you know, you wake up in the morning, you know, you know that, uh, you know, look, everybody has, you know, oh, she don't look good. She better hurry up and look good. Oh, he don't look good in the morning. He don't, you know, that kind of idea, they, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter, you know. And, you know, and that's what true love is all about, you know. But unfortunately, in the world we live in, you know, Outward appearances get magnified so much, you know, and people are believing it. You know, they're taking in, ooh, she looked good, he looked good, and good things gonna happen, you know. <laughs> nah, no, I, I know, I think I have a lot of people that are listening to me right now can disagree with the, their experiences, you know what I'm saying? Most experienced people, you know, they found, they thought she looked good, they thought he was going to be good because he looked good and end up failure, you know, of the relationship, you know, and some people are trying to work a, a, a relationship based upon lust, you know what I'm saying, and try to make it work and try to love each other and, and enduring each other because they really, truly, genuinely don't care about each other and want the person to be like, you know, it's all about, because when it's lust, it's about manipulation. They're going to try to manipulate the person to be the ideal person that they want to be, you know? And, you know, and the other person, you be the ideal person what I want to be. And then that's what the be the fighting, you know, because you're not the ideal person I want to be inside. No, you need to be the ideal person I want inside, you know? that That'd be the reason the foundation of probably every argument concerning that matter. Instead of understanding in one another and see where everybody coming up and encourage people to try to do better in, in, you know, in whatever they're doing and better to, in their characteristics. Encourage people to be better in their characteristics on how they, you know, treat each other, you know, how you be around people, you know what I'm saying? Tell, you know, hey, you know, you need to, yeah. And, you know, but that is, you know, caring about your characteristics and how you can get along with other people. You know what I'm saying? It's not bringing, t thinking, bringing you down, you know, and telling you how negative, but it's helping, it's encouraging, helping you to become a better person because rule of life, everybody loves to quote it, you know, these two words, you know, no, nobody's perfect, you know, <laughs> nobody's perfect. That's why we help to encourage us to become the best that we can be in life concerning first our should be our first our characteristics then you know personality see and that's what the love from the inside is all about you know what i'm saying then better than the love from the outside i mean the lust from the outside and we need to understand that come to that understanding you got to come to that understanding for certain people you know certain people don't get it you know so i get it now i get it now that yeah, i need to understand what's from inside and not from what's outside, and then we can make cultivate better relationships in the world, and people can start really genuinely loving one another in the world. And that's the only way we're gonna have a better world when everybody's doing their part right. You know what I'm saying? And in love, and inside love, and not outside lust. All right. I hope you got the message. I hope it blessed you. I hope it gave you a better revelation. I hope it encouraged you to love people from the inside. All right. To God be the glory. Him forever. In Jesus' name. Amen.